been at Link, I think, since its inception, and uh, it's now 22 times. So uh, uh, it's always a big, uh, big honor for us to be here, and, uh, and very pleased to be part of this very important event. Uh, education, uh, the advancement of medical science, uh, that's obviously what we want to support. What we're showing here today is um, our uh, Azurian uh, biplane system, uh, which is really the basics for any um, uh, neurointerventional lab. Um, equipped with, for instance, a uh, technology like uh, aneurysm flow, which you see right over here, which is a way to analyze uh, the uh, impact of a flow diversion uh, on circulation in the aneurysm sac. Um, what we're also showing uh, here, but also later today there will be a demonstration of it, is uh, we've been experimenting a lot with uh, augmented reality technology, uh, you know, the HoloLens. Um, and uh, later on today in the, uh, in the arena there will be a transmission of a HoloLens uh, enabled case. Um, uh, yeah, so that people can experience what this very powerful technology can do in neurointerventional cases. This is another discussion that we're having a lot at this conference, which is what is the right flow for patients uh, uh, who are experiencing a stroke, um, where today's uh, state of the art is typically there's some diagnostic imaging that happens before the patient goes to the interventional suite. But the big question is, should we go direct to Anjo? Uh, as is currently the case in, uh, in coronary interventions, uh, as time is so essential in, uh, in a stroke event. And, um, and this is a conversation we're having with many customers here at, uh, at the LIN. You make advancements in, let's say, the, the, the basic technology of the suite, maybe the gantry, uh, you make advancements in the, in the image chain, uh, and you make advancements in, in the software, and, and together these, these things combine to, to to, to, to basically push the boundaries of what's, uh, what's uh, possible today. And for sure, uh, a technology like uh, mechanical thrombectomy was also enabled by advancements in imaging so that uh, in the suite um, uh, the, uh, the state of the patients can be, can be uh, investigated much more thoroughly than was previous, uh, previously possible. And I imagine that's one of the critical issues. I mean, to be a constant touch and constant back and forth with your with the physicians who use it, because uh, uh, you can have the best imaging in the world, but if it's not what the physician needs or it facilitates what they need to have, it, it's useless. You're, you're, you're completely right. I mean, we have very, very bright engineers, obviously, working on our team to advance the technology, but there is nothing we can invent that has any clinical relevance without the input from physicians. So at places like Link, we're really looking to enable those conversations and to establish those relationships uh, so that we can continue to push the boundaries. Um, and like I said before, I mean, this whole discussion about direct to Anjo is about, okay, if we're going to go that path, what do you really need? And uh, what is the uh, uh, technology that you need in order to enable such a, yeah, a path that delivers um, therapy so much quicker for patients? I think one of the things that, that, that is very early here is, is this augmented reality uh, technology and I think next year we will be much, much further down the road with that. Um, we're, this is very early stage. Um, I think the, the technology uh, is potentially mind-boggling because you can show information in a very different way. You can give an interventionist a very different experience uh, from, um, from how they do a case today. Um, and it, we're really still in that interactive phase where we, we're showing technology to physicians and get, gathering feedback to figure out, okay, what is the very best application of this technology? Uh, it's, it's extraordinarily powerful. I suggest that you try it, maybe, uh, for a moment, because uh, you, you enter in a different world. And when you see people actually with these glasses on, it's, it's very weird because they're interacting with something that nobody else can see. <laughs> It's, uh, and yet it will be something that's real. It, it, but it's very real yes. and, uh, and it's, it's extraordinarily powerful. Uh, again, facilitating the tools to facilitate. And, um, Absolutely, you know. yeah. The next step in interventional medicine, who knows, yeah.